Hey there, my curious viewers. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into fascinating topics from mythology and beyond. Today, we're going to explore the intricate world of Norse mythology and shed some light on one of its most enigmatic figures, the god Loki. Loki, also known as the trickster god, is a complex and multifaceted character in Norse mythology. He is a member of the Asir, the principal gods of the Norse pantheon. Now, let's delve into the details and uncover the many aspects of Loki's personality and role in the mythological realm. Loki's Origins and Family Loki, the complex and enigmatic character of Norse mythology, has a unique parentage that sets him apart from the other gods. He is the son of the giant Farbadi, whose name translates to, Cruel Striker, and the giantess Laufei. This lineage gives Loki a giant heritage, making him somewhat of an outsider within the divine realm of the Asir. Furthermore, Loki's parentage bestows upon him two lesser-known brothers, Helblindi and Bylaistr, who are seldom mentioned in the myths. Although their roles are minor, their presence reinforces Loki's familial connections and adds to the rich tapestry of his heritage. Interestingly, despite his giant lineage, Loki shares a blood brother bond with Odin, the chief of the Asir gods. This significant relationship highlights Loki's close ties to the divine order despite his origins. The blood brotherhood between Loki and Odin signifies a special bond and mutual trust between them, indicating that Loki is not entirely estranged from the Asir gods. Children of Loki Fenrir One of Loki's most well-known children is Fenrir, a monstrous wolf destined to play a significant role in the events leading up to Ragnarok. As a fearsome creature, Fenrir grows at an alarming rate, causing concern among the gods. In an attempt to restrain him, the gods craft increasingly stronger chains, but Fenrir breaks free each time. Eventually, the dwarves create a magical binding called Gleipnir, which successfully restrains Fenrir. However, this act fuels Fenrir's bitterness and resentment, leading to his pivotal role in the apocalyptic battle of Ragnarok. Jormungandr Another of Loki's notable offspring is Jormungand, a gigantic serpent also known as the Midgard Serpent or the World Serpent. Jormungand is so immense that it encircles the entire world, grasping its tail in its mouth. As a symbol of chaos and destruction, Jormungand plays a significant role in the cataclysmic events of Ragnarok. During this apocalyptic battle, Jormungand engages in a fierce clash with the thunder god Thor, resulting in their mutual demise. Hel. Loki's third prominent child is Hel, who rules over the realm of the dead, also called Hel. Hel is depicted as a half-dead, half-living being, with one side of her body appearing as a beautiful woman and the other side as a decaying corpse. She provides a final resting place for those who do not die in battle and are not taken to Valhalla. Hel's realm becomes a key destination for many characters in Norse mythology, emphasizing the cyclical nature of life and death. Sleipnir Although not a traditional child, Loki plays a vital role in the birth of Sleipnir, the eight-legged horse ridden by the chief god Odin. Loki shape-shifts into a mare and becomes impregnated by the stallion Svadilfari, resulting in the birth of Sleipnir. This incredible steed possesses unparalleled speed and agility, serving as Odin's trusted companion and symbolizing their close connection. These children of Loki represent a mix of awe-inspiring power and inevitable destiny. Their roles in Norse mythology contribute to the intricate web of tales and prophecies, weaving together themes of chaos, destruction, and cyclical renewal. The Trickster God Loki is commonly referred to as the Trickster God due to his cleverness, cunning, and penchant for mischief. He often uses his quick thinking and shape-shifting abilities to deceive both gods and mortals, causing chaos and stirring up trouble. Loki's mischievous nature is both entertaining and troublesome, and it frequently lands him in trouble with the other gods. Shape-shifting abilities One of Loki's most remarkable traits is his ability to shape-shift into various forms. He can transform into animals, objects, and even other gods. This power allows him to navigate different realms and situations, aiding him in his pranks and adventures. Loki's shape-shifting abilities make him a master of disguise and enable him to outweat his opponents. Loki's pranks and exploits Loki's mischievous nature knows no bounds. 
he is known for playing tricks on the gods, often with dire consequences. Some of his most famous exploits include the theft of Thor's hammer, in one tale, Loki steals Thor's mighty hammer, Mjolnir, and holds it ransom from the other gods until he is forced to retrieve it from the giant Thrym. The creation of Thor's bride, Loki plays a role in the creation of Thor's bride, Sif, by replacing her golden hair after it is cut off by the mischievous dwarf, Loki's involvement in this tale showcases his ability to fix his own mischief. The Binding of Fenrir, Loki's actions ultimately lead to the binding of the fearsome wolf Fenrir. The gods grow wary of Fenrir's growing power and decide to restrain him. When the other attempts fail, Loki crafts a seemingly unbreakable chain to bind Fenrir, but it comes at great cost. Ambiguity and Contradictions Loki's character is a blend of contradictory traits, making him all the more intriguing. He can be both generous and selfish, loyal and treacherous, helpful and destructive. This ambiguity is reflected in his relationships with other gods, as he oscillates between friendship and rivalry with various deities. Loki's complex nature adds depth and unpredictability to the Norse mythology narrative. 6. Loki's influence on the god's fate. Loki's actions often have far-reaching consequences and play a significant role in shaping the fate of the gods. Despite his mischievous nature, he is instrumental in procuring essential objects or aiding the gods in their quests. However, his actions also contribute to their eventual downfall during Ragnarok, the apocalyptic event in Norse mythology. 7. Loki and Ragnarok Loki's involvement in Ragnarok is pivotal. He joins forces with the giants and leads them in a battle against the gods. This final conflict results in the destruction of the world as the forces of chaos clash with the divine order. Loki fights against his former allies, and his actions contribute to the cyclical nature of Norse mythology, where the world is destroyed and reborn anew. Loki's character is a captivating blend of charm, cunning, and chaos. His mischievous exploits and complex relationships make him a prominent figure in Norse mythology. Whether he is causing mischief or aiding the gods, Loki's influence on the mythological narrative cannot be overlooked. I hope this in-depth exploration of Loki's character has satisfied your curiosity. If you enjoyed this mythological journey, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow.